a lot of people I speak to, I'm, I'm like trying to get them to understand the meanings of the words they're using and the phrases. So what mm -hmm. are the meanings of them? Whereabouts in the sales funnel does it go? You know, yes. not because, the, you know, they plug a keyword, in, see keyword into a tool, gives them this list of words, and they say, right, we'll write content for these words. And there's no, like, logical thinking behind it. And yes. I'm, in one instance, I found that a company was ranking very well. They were driving loads of traffic. But 80% of the traffic were after sales. You know, so they're doing a brilliant job in servicing the competitors' customers. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I think that this sort of thing, and you know, it's like the, the sales funnel. Whereabouts does that content, that keyword lie? You know, does it have multiple meanings? Does it have, and this is where I think when it comes to SEO tools, there's always, always must be a manual process. You know, yes. the tools just spits out words in effect. You know, it might tell you, you know, that's transactional, that's informational or whatever, but there is always an understanding of the meaning of words when it comes behind it. And I yes. think what you, you're describing is, is so in my space. It's so what I go out and teach people. It's, it's so, you know, just I'm, I'm loving the fact that, you know, well, a tool is just a tool. You, you have to have a brain. Yeah, you do. Like you can, you can drown in data. You can make the, you can have oodles and oodles. You can have spreadsheets and spreadsheets of data. But if you can't, if it's like ha being a, a, a captain of a ship and you've got all of your charts, but you never plot a course. You know, you have to divine and set the direction. Uh, you got to follow your compass and, you know, know where the currents are moving. There's a lot of good analogy there. <laughs> like, uh, you can set the course that way, but if you don't know that a current is heading, your intent is pushing against you, then half of the effort you made isn't going to be there. And so you think you've gone you know, 10 nautical miles, you've gone five because there was a headwind and there was a current pushing against you. And so in SEO, that's intent. You know, that's, there's, there's attempts that I've seen, you know, oh, commercial intent versus transactional intent as trying to categorize those, but it's, it's not great. It, it really isn't because you're, you're still not going to get uh, a truly scrubbed keyword list to start off with of removing those, uh, especially if you're doing something very regional, there's a lot of uh, you know, false positives in the raw data. If you just use an SEO tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs and you're just looking at, oh, what's the highest traffic potential? Uh, I should do that. The problem now with helpful content update, making people again, get uh, panda slapped because <laughs> this happened before that it happened before every everything that's old is new we already had a huge algorithm that came out and said your content is crap and we called that 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 was a label algorithm update called panda and we realized oh hey you know what this content is crap it's it's machine gen you know we we spun it up and we spent like five seconds making it and we're surprised that now our rankings are gone, that the big mean panda has come. It, and we were like, oh, well, you know, because it's a it AI generated, it's machine learning and it's really quite clever. And, and I had an editor spend five seconds changing three words. You know, surely there's no problems here, but there's actually like a, a, a larger problem of if you are just looking at your competitors and you're doing a keyword gap analysis and saying, oh, hey, they wrote for all of this stuff and I don't rank for it. I'm going to make the same content they did slightly differently and Google's going to love it 
And then you'll go to the SERP and there'll be 10 different versions of nearly exactly the exact same thing. And that's not a problem at all as an SEO. That's not a problem at all in our industry of building skyscrapers and this skyscraper. You know what the reality is about the skyscraper method? Living in a city sucks. I'm sorry. New York sucks. It's a cement nightmare. There's there's one acre where you can go put your feet on grass and the rest is concrete. It's not how we were meant to live. That's not how the internet was meant to be. <laughs> go up. There's so much more, there's so much more wild content options. But do a keyword gap analysis and say, oh, they've made this article and this article and this article. I'm going to make something totally different. <laughs> I'm going to approach those same keywords with a different value proposition. You know, I'm going to speak to those things that they're not addressing. What's the gap in the keyword gap? I rank for this, they rank for that. I want to rank for what neither of us have touched.